friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library where I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss any of the fun I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. Today, we're going to be doing my TBR takedown for the month of August. I will have once again already done a haul video as well as a wrap up so I will link those in the description box down below. Um, we will be talking about two books that I hauled today because I forgot them during my haul video. We will be sliding over here so that we can put our numbers on the screen for you. Um, in the month of August our backlist started at 44, our current started at 39. If you're new and you don't know about the TBR takedown, the backlist TBR is any book that I had purchased prior to January 1 of 2023. My current TBR is anything that I purchased after that date. And our goal number for the month of August was 42. And that is to get my backlist TBR to 42. I don't really have a goal for my current TBR. It's more of just keeping track of where I'm at with it. Um, but the backlist TBR is what we're trying to get down. We're going to go through the books that I hauled and read and DNF'd and unhauled uh, pretty much in chronological order for the month of August. I hauled a lot, I read a lot, I DNF'd a couple of things. Um, we have a lot of books to talk about so in this video I will not be doing any like overviews of what the books are. If you want to know more about um, synopsis and things like that you can check out the haul or the wrap up video for that information. With the exception of the first two books that I hauled in August, uh, the first of which is Just Another Missing Person by Jillian McAllister. I actually don't know what this book is about, but I read Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Jillian McAllister last month or possibly the month before, and I really enjoyed it. And this was an option from Book of the Month, so I went ahead and picked this up. A little bit of a blurb here just says, a heart-stopping thriller in which a missing person case unravels deeper, darker secrets that hit too close to home and can only lead to more danger for the detective and the impossible moral choice. What will she do? There's a man out there. His weapon isn't a gun or a knife. It's a secret. So, that. Also, our numbers will be changing as we go through these. Um, the other that I picked up was Elisa Jewell. None of this is true. I have not read Elisa Jewell before. I figured it's probably time. When a famous podcaster interviews a stranger promising to divulge the story of a lifetime, secrets emerge that threaten to expose the truth of the lives they've both worked hard to protect and project. Project and protect, actually. So, that as well. I then read Hummingbird by Natalie Lloyd, and that was a book that I borrowed from the library, so it does not come off of any lists. I read The Narrow by Kate Alice Marshall, which doesn't come off of any lists because I borrowed that as well. Blubber by Judy Bloom doesn't come off of anything. Every Gift a Curse by Caroline O'Donoghue, which is the third book in the All Our Hidden Gifts trilogy. Other Words for Home by Jasmine Warga, which again comes off of no lists. And Soulless by Gail Carriger, which again comes off of no lists. I then DNF'd two books back to back, The Black Swan by Mercedes Lackey and Scout's Honor by Lily Anderson, both of which I have read books from in the past and did not enjoy these ones, which was a fun time. I then read This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron, The House Next Door, Creepover number 14 by PJ Knight, Witch volume 14, Kindred Spirits, which is Sarah Normal book eight, I believe, and that is by Phoebe Rivers. The Nameless Witch by Natalie C. Parker, which comes off of no lists. Hardstopper Volume 2, which was a reread, so it comes off of no lists. I read my collection uh, Shoot Down the Windy Bird by Julie Zintopoulos, which I wasn't technically counting as part of my TBR, so it doesn't come off of any lists. And Talk Flirty to Me by Libby Hart. We then did a haul. Back in a Spell by Lana Harper. This Wicked Fate by Caitlin Bayron. One of Us is Next by Karen M. McManus. I also hauled the entire Parasol Protectorate series. There's actually five books in the series, but only two of them have made it here so far. The other three are still on their way from Europa. So four of these count. Um, one does not because I had already read Solus when I purchased these. I then read A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab, Jaws by Peter Benchley, Dark Corners by Megan Golden, Meet Cute by Gail Carriger, Voices in the Snow by Darcy Coates, which I borrowed from the library. I then DNF'd Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan. This is where it gets fun. I then hauled 15 books in the 
Circle of Three series by Isabel Bird. They are, I think, in order. So mote it be. Merry Meet. Second Sight. What the card said. In the Dreaming. Ring of Light. Blue Moon. The Five Portals. Through the Veil. Making the Saint. The House of Winter. Written in the Stars. And It Harm None. The Challenge Box. And finally, Initiation. I also hold Small Spaces by Catherine Arden. Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero. The Girl from the Well by Ren Chepeco, which I have read so it doesn't count. The Haunting of Lee Harker by Darcy Coates. In Nightfall by Suzanne Young. Diary of a Haunting and the Possession by M. Verano. This is a bind up. Spellbound by F.T. Lukens, which doesn't count because I've already read it. And The Fullcroft Ghosts by Darcy Coates. I then read In Nightfall by Suzanne Young. The Frugal Wizard's Handbook for Surviving Medieval England by Brandon Sanderson. And the final book that I read of the month was Changeless by Gail Carriger. So if my math maths correctly, we should have 42 books on our backlist, which was our goal. So we're fine with our backlist. And then 62 on our current TBR. We went from 39 to 62. Um, the math on the screen will be correct. My math in the book hardly ever is, but the math on the screen is correct. Okay, that's where we're at with that. Uh, also, many of you will know that uh, if you've been here for these before, I also pull from my TBR jar, and this is the backlist TBR jar, and every month if I don't read the book that I pulled, then I have to unhaul it. Last month I pulled Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, and as you can tell by that takedown that we just did, I did not read that book. However, I did the Amazing Readathon in October, August, and the thing with that readathon is that it was like prompts were dropping and you didn't know what the prompts were about every three days. And with the exception of the first prompt, which at that point I hadn't pulled my book from the TBR yet, nothing really fit for that book. So there was never really a prompt that I was able to work that book in with. And because I was trying to read so many books for the readathon, I didn't want to read a book that didn't fit a prompt. So I'm giving myself an extra month on Station Eleven, but if I haven't read it by the end of September, then it has to go. I feel like that's probably the fairest way to do it because I am interested in that one still. Uh, but we will also be pulling another book. So there will be two that we have to read in September. Oop, I dropped one, so that's going to be the guy. We got American Gods, which I have already unhauled. That happened the last time too when one fell out and then I picked it up and it was one that I had just unhauled weird. There aren't many left. I mean, there's 42, but like a lot of them are parts of series. So, you know, uh, the sound of stars. I'm just gonna stand here. The sound of stars by Alicia Dow. I would get it, but it's all the way over there. Uh, so that will be my backlist TBR jar pick for August, September. I honestly have no idea what fucking month we're in. Okay, so I need to read The Sound of Stars plus Station Eleven plus my Summer Scare Readathon TBR and my Pick Pongathon TBR. I think I'm okay. Um, I've only got about mm, like eight books that I need to read and seeing as how I read 20 last month, I think I should be able to do 10. So I feel like it's completely doable. If you missed my TBR for the Summer Scare Readathon and Pick Pongathon, there was a feature in that of what my of what my TBR game will be for next year. So if you missed it and you want to know what game we're playing next year, you might want to go back and take a look. If you made it this far in the video, leave me a dragon emoji in the comments down below, or if you're just not feeling chatty. That is all I have for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.